We are now able to go ahead and contact our API and get those users. One thing that we haven't done though is handle errors. Handling errors when we're talking to any sort of API is really important because even though we know what the format is going to be of the content that we get back, sometimes that data might not come back the way we think it will. There might be a server error, there might be an error in the connection, a lot of different things could go wrong. The way that we're going to handle errors when we're working with the HTTP library and observables is to use a catch. We'll go down here and dot catch error and we'll be able to handle that error right here. Notice that we have an error showing for the catch property. We can go ahead, go to app module and import that here. That's also an operator that we'll need. Now that we have imported the catch operator, we can go back to user service and we will no longer see the catch error. We're getting this error on what catch returns though, and if we take a look at this, it basically is saying that we want to return something inside of this catch. Right now we're returning nothing, so it doesn't allow us to return type void is not assignable. So let's go ahead and return an observable, and we'll dot throw an error. And we're going to pull the data from the error, error.json, and dot data. And if that doesn't exist, we'll just do a generic error that says server error. Now there are no more errors. And we can see that we can easily make an HTTP call, map it, and if something goes wrong, we can catch the error and return a message here. Now that we're able to throw an observable error in our catch statement, how would we handle that in the component section? Right now we're subscribing, so we can actually break this out. We have subscribe, and the first part is what's going to happen on a success, and the second part is going to happen on the error. This way we could do something like show an error message using that error, and we're going to do that later in these lessons, but right now, let's hash out our user service error handler a little bit more. Wouldn't it be great if we could create a function to handle all sorts of errors no matter what kind of call we're making to no matter what kind of server? Let's take this a step further and try to make a more robust error handler. Right now we're not entirely sure if error.json.data will always exist on these calls and if we look at our API, that call won't always exist. Right now we're taking the JSON input and then right now we're going to have data. And this works for this API call, but what about if a user not found call is made? There is no data in here, so it would just return server error. Let's hash out our error handling a little bit better so that we can make sure that we handle errors for any type of API. And we can use this for whatever application we use moving forward. Okay, so let's take this and we have our catch statement here. We're going to create a variable called error message and that would be a string. Now one of the cool things that the HTTP library does for us is it returns everything using that fetch standard that we talked about. Now the fetch standard will return a response, so we'll take response, we'll grab it out of the HTTP library, and we can use this now to type hint what's coming back from our catch statement. We can say if the error is an instance of response, then we're going to know that error.json, with the JSON part of that body, will exist. And we'll say else if there is no JSON body to that. Let's handle the easier of the two right now. We'll just say error message is equal to error.message if a message comes through from the server. And if there is a message, we'll do a ternary operator. So we'll say that message gets through and Otherwise, we're going to take whatever comes back from the server and just convert it to a string. That should be good to just handle any errors that aren't an instance of the response. And you'll want to tweak this a little bit to match whatever your API returns to you. But here, once we have an instance of response, we're going to say the we're going to say let body equal error.json or nothing. We're going to grab whatever's in that body. We'll say let error equal body.error if that exists and if it doesn't exist we're just going to json 
dot stringify body. And we do that because we're not entirely sure if this body is going to be a string. Right now we are able to do that here. And here we're able to stringify maybe an object that comes back and whatever else comes back. Now we can finally call error message is equal to and we'll use a template string variable here so we can pass in some variables. We'll say error dot status if it exists and we'll pass in the error dot status text and if that doesn't exist we'll just do a string and then last but not least we'll pass in the error that we just made that is this right here that's going to give us a good amount of information coming from our error which is an instance of response and finally let's just return observable dot throw and we have our new error message that way this will be able to handle a good amount of errors that come back from our server now the last thing I'd like to do is refactor this a little bit we're going to jump ahead let's say we go ahead and create this get a single user API call we'll do get a single user and then we have get user and then we're going to say return this dot HTTP dot get for this, let's just do some random HTTP. And we're going to map response is equal to response.json and catch. Now this is what I want to focus on here. This is going to take a little bit extra work since we're going to repeat all of this error code here and repeat it all here as well. We can easily fix that. We'll create a private method, handle any errors from the API. Now we'll say private handle error and we'll pass in the error. Now we can take everything out of here and throw that down here. Now the reason this method is private is because we only want this service to be able to use it. If a component calls the service we shouldn't let the component be able to call handle error only this service is allowed to. Now, instead of all of this stuff here, we'll just say catch this dot handle error. And that is it. We'll do the same down here. And now our service is starting to look a little bit cleaner. We have our error handling here. We have two really simple calls and we can easily see what's going on in our catch statement. The last thing I'd like to point out, which is interesting because TypeScript hasn't thrown an error to us yet observable.throw is not available to us right now. Now that we have our error handling in place, we can move forward and start working with the rest of our API and building out the rest of our application, knowing that errors are going to be under control.